I'm Ashley and I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for you today, show you how to put this together, how to assemble it, just as the instructions say. And I found a little bit of the instructions to be a little confusing, so I had my husband get in here and help me out, just to make it a little bit easier to understand. So hopefully you'll enjoy the video and it'll help you get strolling pretty quick. First thing you're going to do is place the handlebars in and you're going to push them down until you can't push it any further. You'll know that it's seated properly when you can see a hole through both sides. That lets you know that it's ready for the next step. You're gonna have two sets of uh, nuts with their counterparts and two Allen keys. It's gonna come with a third set of nuts just in case you lose one or break one. And for this part, you can put the, the, the counterpart either on, on this side or from the inside. It doesn't matter, they're gonna do the same thing either way. So I'm gonna slide this big one through first, finger tighten the nut, and then you need both Allen keys one to hold in place and the other one to twist it, like so. Once that's tightened, you're going to go ahead and do the other side and then your handlebar is secure. The next step that you're going to do is you're going to get the handlebar, you're going to bring it down and you're going to lock it into place here on these side parts. So you're going to want to hear the click. And that step's done. You want to just pull on it a little bit and make sure that they're locked in place and then you're good to go. The next step is going to be to attach the tires. Uh, I'll do the back ones first. They're really easy. All you're going to do, you're going to pick it up. You're going to insert the peg here into the slot and they just click into place. And you do the same thing for both sides. And for the front tires, they have a colored spot on the inside of each tire, one of them green, one of them yellow, and the bottom where you're going to insert the tire has a corresponding color spot. So you know that you're doing the right tire on the right side. And then it's just the same process on the other side. What we're going to do next is we're going to bring this up and have it standing. So you're going to bring it up. You're going to make sure that the brakes are engaged. And from here, you're going to pull the front tires away from the back tires. This is what they call self-standing mode. Next, to fully engage the stroller, we're going to have the right hand on the handlebar. And you're going to use your left hand here on this lever under the even flow name. The left side is where you see unfold and it points to this lever. So you're going to go ahead and pull on that. Using your right hand, push it down toward your feet. And from there, we're ready for the next step. Okay, for this next step, we're going to just make sure everything is set up securely and then take care of the handlebar. So for this back section, we're just going to jiggle it and it's already in place. I can see on the back here, there are two green indicators that show that everything is set up correctly. So then we're going to move to the front and pull on the front, setting it up as well. And you hear a little click. And here, inside of the handlebar, there are two red indicators if it's not set up correctly. You go ahead and you pull on this and they disappear. So right now, they're both gone, which means this is set up nice and sturdy. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to push on this lever here for the handlebar and pull it up to whatever is your most comfortable height. There are three different settings. This is the tallest, and one more, and one more. For this next part, we're going to be attaching the storage basket, and we're going to show you how to use the snack tray. Um, for, this, for the storage basket, you just go ahead and unvelcro this piece from the seat back. You're going to expose three teeth here that are uh, very important for attaching the storage basket. And if you see here, these are the three slots where the teeth go. So you're going to want to align those and once you have it aligned, push down hard on the center. Then you hear that click and it is securely in place and you can go ahead and replace that fabric. And the next part is just to check out this, the snack tray. It's really, really easy. It's just got this center piece here and you align those. And once you have them in place, you just push down and you're going to hear the click on both sides. There you go. And it's got gray buttons that are really easy to use for removal. 
Okay, for this part, I've already pre-installed one of the canopies, and then I'll show you how to install the other one. Um, you're going to install from kind of the outside in. So you're not going to push it from this way, you're going to push it this way. So you want to align the two pieces of the canopy with the track, and then all you do is just push it on. There's not really loud click or anything like that, but um, that, there it is, it's installed. It's kind of firmly in place. Uh, just be careful when you are pushing this down not to have your fingers trapped underneath it because it does come down pretty firmly. Uh, another handy feature of this, so this is how you open it up to extend it. Uh, you can do that on both sides. Uh, but another handy feature of this is that the canopies are reversible. So you can go ahead and kind of just push one of the bars under the other. It's a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's a little bit easier. But you push one bar under the other and then it pulls forward to reveal the other side. So you can easily interchange it. Um, and then once you do that, I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to move it into wagon mode. Uh, another nifty feature of the storage basket is that you can actually install it onto the front as well. So if you're using it in wagon mode, you can attach the storage basket here so that'll be closer to you. Um, or if you're very tall and you're kicking the basket when it's on this front side in stroller mode, you can always attach it here as well. So to go ahead and move it into wagon mode, you're going to want to make sure that the brakes are engaged, which mine are. And then you're going to push here. This is the lever that releases it from the lock position. So you're going to push down on both of those sides and release it. And then it just easily turns this way to be pulled in wagon mode. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, I followed the instructions just as the manual said, so it should help you to get up and strolling pretty quick. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a review soon on this one. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and subscribe and uh, I'll be getting that up soon after I get out and about strolling with it a little bit. Um, and then following that, I'll do a comparison video on the Evenflow, on the Baby Trend Wagon and on the Pronto Stroller. I've had some requests to try it with heavier kids in, in both sides of it. So I'm going to give that a go and, and see how it feels. Um, but yeah, please follow if you want to see any more of my content and I'll see you on the next one.